Hello friends, today I will show you how you can design corridor in varying width. You have multiple locations where your corridor is having varying widths. The simple way to do modeling in this section is provide polyline targets. But this will not help if there is any change in your design later on. So today I will show you two examples. In first example, we will provide bus bay at one location and in the second example we will widen our corridor uh, we will widen our shop shoulder uh, at uh, utility location utility chamber location so let's start the first example so suppose this is my carriageway and i want uh, to provide bus bay at say 200 chainage so for there are four parameters for bus bay one is how much the bus bay widening is so in this case it is 3.5 meter widening uh, the second parameter is what is the length of this uh, bus bay so in this case it is 20 meter and the third and fourth parameter is entry taper and exit taper so in this um, i am having entry taper of 40 meter and exit taper of 30 meter so the one method is uh, i can create a polyline at 200 and i can do horizontal target so that is one method but if there is any change in this parameter that will not help me in uh, later later on to modify this corridor so what i will do is i will create one offset alignment on the left hand left hand side suppose i want to provide this bus bay at 220 meter change so the first step is i have to create offset alignment of this carriageway width so i will not provide on right hand side so i will give it to zero on left hand side i will provide at 3.5 meter interval so you can see my offset alignment has been created now the second step is select your lane and copy it and put it next to the uh, alignment uh, means next to the sub-assembly where you want to widen your carriageway now uh, I will change the name suppose I will say bus bay Now the next step is in this offset alignment I will add widening so select the offset alignment click on add widening you can create new alignment for widening and if you want to do it on the same alignment click no select start station so I will say 200 select end station so I will say 220 and uh, the offset uh, widening I have to provide it from the center line so I am having already 3.5 meter lane width and I want additional 3.5 so this will be 7 meter so you can see my uh, offset has been created now this is by default entry and exit taper and this is my widening parameter so uh, I don't want uh, this curve line curve I want linear taper here so I will select for entry and exit I want linear taper so my entry taper is 40 meter in length I can provide ratio as well but in this case I am providing length so whenever I change the entry parameter it will change the widening parameter so I have to provide it again starting from 200 to 220 and for the exit it is having 30 meter so you can see my offset is of 7 meter this is length is 20 meter then my entry taper is 40 meter and exit taper is 30 meter so my alignment has been widened uh, as per this bus B requirement now the next step is go select the alignment go to edit target and in this bus bay provide the target of that offset alignment so, so your bus bay has been provided from 200 to 220 now if there is any change in this bus bay location in the future say from I need it from now 
210 to 230 so what i have to do is go to the select the alignment go to the offset parameters just change the range from this menu and rebuild the corridor the busway has been modified and if you want your length to be 40 meter instead of 20 you can do it that with just one click so this offset alignment will help you to control your busway and suppose in the future if you don't want this busway simply delete this one I will close this menu I will again open this and I will delete this the widening has been deleted and once I will rebuild the corridor it is normal now so this way you can provide bus base, truck base, maintenance base at uh, various locations now in this second example suppose I want to widen my shop shoulder uh, at this location to 5 meter for say any utility chamber or anything so how can I do that so for that uh, similar to carriageway I will add one more uh, sub assembly for the shoulder uh, this is basic shoulder so it is not having uh, targets so I will use uh, shoulder extension and in this one uh, I will keep the daylight slope to 1 in 0 so it will be vertical I will add it on right side and I will make the width to 1 meter this will not make any difference because it is controlled by the target offset alignment so the next step is create one offset alignment on the right hand side at uh, 4.5 meter click ok you can see the alignment is created on the right hand side now the next step is provide widening in this alignment so add widening if you want to create new alignment you can create I will use this one now the start station is uh, 420 and the end station is uh, 440 and the widening is 5 and uh, from the center line it will be 9.5 you can see the widening has been done but I don't want any taper on either sides so what I will do is I will keep it linear I will choose by length and I will make length 0 similar way uh, I have changed the entry so the stations will automatically change so I will again make it 420 and for the exit also I will specify 0 so you can see now the next step is go to the edit targets and for the shoulder select the right hand side alignment now you can see uh, the widening has been done but due to frequency issue it is not visible so what i will do is i will edit the frequency in this location and i will select points here say 439 and four, say 421 click ok you can see the widening has been done uh, I have not select the correct changes so I will again do the 420 and 440 still it is not there so what can I do is I will select 439.99 and 420.001 
so you can see now the corridor has been done uh, you can remove unwanted frequencies if you want no I will keep them so this is the way you can do your corridors for uh, uneven sections you can see your soft shoulder is widened here 